Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Taylor. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Today is a very exciting video because I am doing an unboxing of the Coach Pillow Tabby 18 bag. I think that's how you say the name. I might have scrambled it a little bit, but everyone I'm sure has seen this bag all around TikTok. That's how I found out about the bag and I've been eyeing it for so long and I finally bit the bullet. Funny story actually how I ended up purchasing this bag. Bag, I entered in a March Madness League or I like created a bracket. There was a hundred people in it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a huge sports person, um, but I won. <laughs> so I did end up winning a little bit of money and I thought, okay, I want to just treat myself and finally get the bag that I've been eyeing for months now. So yes, that is what this video is going to be all about is unboxing this purse. I am so excited. I did purchase this directly from the coach website and I will leave the link to the bag in my description if you guys want to shop it. But let's just get started. Nice. I'm so excited to see this bag in person. Just came in this normal shipper box and it looks like it's directly here. We got the coach logo. We got the little sticker here. Oh, hello. I haven't gotten a bag in so long and I've just been purchasing little Amazon bags or going to TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So I'm very excited to have a luxury bag in my life. So right off the bat, of course, this look is gorgeous. It just has the little insert card. Thanks for shopping at coach. And it has the bag right here. I I always feel like I have to double check to make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, there was something at the bottom. Okay, did I get a personalized letter? Oh no, that's just my receipt. This has nothing in it, but let's open this bag. I can already tell this is gonna be such a nice size for me. I do have them in two different sizes. I believe there's the 18 and the 26. I personally just love carrying around a small bag. I actually have a nut allergy, so I have to have an EpiPen on me at all times. And that's exactly what I look for is if it can hold my EpiPen, we're good to go. I feel like this is gonna be the perfect size for me. Let's do this. Here we go. Really quick, I wanna talk about this color for a second. Obviously, the one that we see all over TikTok is like that beige white color. Yes, initially that was the one that I wanted, but I'm like, I feel like everyone has that color bag and I kind of wanted something more unique. I think this is actually one of the newer colors. They have been coming out with new colors. I think they just came out with a blue one, a pink one. I wanted something that I could use like on the day to day and I feel like obviously pink and blue are very loud and aren't gonna go with every outfit. I ended up going with the color vanilla and I think it is so gorgeous. Another thing I want to call out is the gold detailing. I wear gold jewelry. I really don't wear any silver jewelry so it just kind of looked funny if I had silver detailing on a bag. Oh my gosh, it feels so squishy and nice. Right off the bat, yes, I am obsessed. This is so smooth and fun feeling and the shoulder strap is actually detached which I didn't realize I could actually have this as a clutch. I'm definitely more of a crossbody person so I'm sure this will come in handy but let's take off this detailing and look at it closer. Does anyone else use eyebrow scissors for like everything or is it just me? Kind of scared. I'm gonna cut off the wrong thing. I want to talk about price really quick. This bag does retail for $3.95 which is not terrible for a luxury bag. I mean I used to think Coach was out but they have been coming back hard. Also they might have some sales going on but this bag might be discluded. Before I take out all the stuffing and give you guys a closer look I want to unwrap this too. This is like oh okay I hope this is okay. Oh wait okay I know what's going on here. So there are two separate straps. One is obviously for like your shoulder bag, your handbag, and then this one is for the crossbody. I thought I was gonna question the color choice but I am really happy with the decision that I made. They do a good job wrapping everything up, I can tell you that. Thank God I have a trash near me because there's a lot of trash connected to this. I love the fact that there's the gold detailing. This even has a little bit of a squish to it. This seems really small to me, but like the purse is actually very small. I love getting these little bags because like I'm never gonna use this. It's cute, but I just want to point out these details that I'm actually obsessed with and didn't notice when I was shopping on the website. One of the sides where the handle goes actually says coach on that gold hardware. And then the other side has this little puffy coach tag. I think this is actually the 
cutest thing. Let's take all the stuffing out. Is this a sticker? It is. Right off the bat, there's these little blue stickers, which just makes me so happy because they really do a lot to try to protect this little bat. There's a whole bunch of stuffing coming out of this, and there's actually, like, foam in every single pocket here. Then we have the little card. I think that says, like, authenticity? I don't know. All the stuffing is out. I want to show you guys how flat it gets without that stuffing in so it definitely still has a lot of plush to it which I like it's not like deflated I'm intrigued to see how much I can actually fit in here so I'm gonna grab some things out of my current bag and test it out to see how much I can squish into this bag the like four most important things to me to try to fit in this bag are my EpiPen like I mentioned earlier my wallet my phone and just like a lip gloss so let's try this out this is like make or break y'all all right EpiPen is in wallet is a little bit chunky. I feel like I always have my phone in my hand, so I might not have to worry about that, but with all of that stuff in there, it's definitely like plunging outwards. I might have to not use this thick wallet, which is okay, but I hate transferring wallets, so let's see. Okay, so I am able to close it, which is very reassuring, and I'm thinking about how I'm not gonna have my phone in there at all times. So I think this is the perfect fit. I'm so excited I went with the smaller one. All right, I don't wanna like stretch out the leather because I'm sure that would happen. Without my chunky wallet, it almost is better. It doesn't have as much like budge to it. Now I'm gonna try on the shoulder strap and see what that looks like and see how it fits around my arm, especially in something like this, a bulkier jean jacket. The gold hardware is really, Oh my god. Oh my god. This just got like 10 times cuter to me with the little handle on it. Are you kidding me? I am obsessed. I really am. I'm so happy I went with this color. If you guys are going to get this bag, honestly, I highly suggest this color. The gold detailing makes it look so much more elegant. I'm obsessed. This is actually the cutest thing I've ever seen. All right, so one thing to know is that it's not big enough to be a shoulder bag. So it's more of like a wrist type of bag or something you're gonna hold in your hand. That's okay, I think that's okay because it's so tiny. It almost would look awkward if it was all the way up here shoved up my armpit. Like I said, if I were to wear it like this, it would just be for dinners if I wasn't walking around too much because I really hate carrying a bag like this. Now let's try the crossbody because I'm very intrigued to see how that looks. It does have some adjustable straps, which is always a bonus because sometimes it can get pretty uncomfortable if it's too short or awkwardly too long. With the notch that it came on, this is probably not the best angle, but it does reach to like my hip point, which I think is a nice place for a crossbody. But at the end of the day, honestly, this is most likely how I'm gonna wear it the most. The nice thing about this though is that it's really plush and lightweight, which makes it not like that annoying tugging feeling on your shoulder and having to switch on either side. Side. I've also seen people wear this as a fanny pack, which I don't know if I can hop on that. I do have a fanny pack, but I wear it as a crossbody because I feel like it's so awkward to have weight holding right there. But I think that's possible with this strap. I've seen a couple people do it and make it like a belt. Let me know what you guys think of this bag in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from me. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.